Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Bilal Abdul Karim for OG in News Briefs on this 18th day of July, 2022. Here are our top stories. Former Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan's party scored a huge electoral victory in Punjab. Punjab happens to be Pakistan's most populous province. Khan's PTI party won 15 of 20 available state assembly seats. As compared to just four seats secured by current Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif's Pakistan Muslim League. The Punjab vote was largely seen as a litmus test of how well Imran Khan's popularity in the country would fare. National elections are due to be held in, uh, before October of 2023. However, Imran Khan has been calling for early elections. According to intelligence sources in the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan, an ISIS cell was neutralized that had fired rockets into Uzbekistan and Tajikistan under direction from Ahmed Mas'ud in Panjshir with the intention to sabotage relations between Afghanistan and its neighbors. During the operation, three suspects were killed, five others were captured, and a number of missiles, launchers, and cars were also seized. And now to East Turkestan, where mosques are forced to display Love China, Love Communist Party propaganda. The Uyghur population in the Xinjiang province has been subject, has been the subject of a fierce crackdown by authorities in Beijing. More than one million Uyghur Muslims are languishing in concentration camps set up by the authorities. China's strong foreign relations and financial ties have paralyzed Muslim nations from even speaking against the atrocities. As U.S. President Joe Biden winds down his